We pray now that you will remind somebody in the midst of this sermon that all of our help, it comes from you, oh God. Somebody's had a rough week. Somebody has had a rough morning. Somebody, dear God, perhaps is on the verge of even giving up. But remind us today through your word that we can make it because you are our help. Have your way now is thy prayer. In Jesus' name we pray and give you thanks and praise. Let everyone say amen. 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 My beloved friends, life as we know it can be difficult at times. Do I have a witness? Life can be stressful where we regret some mornings even getting out of bed. Anybody been that maybe? Life can be stressful where we even ask the question, Lord, what in the world is going on? Life can be overwhelming where we are literally drained and we feel we do not have any energy to make it to the next round. Anybody been there before? Well, life can be overwhelming where we feel we are being pulled left to right. Even the walls of pressure are caving in on us. But as children of God, we must know regardless of life and its circumstances where our help comes from. If we do not know where our help comes from, awful is our condition. As believers this morning, we must get into the habit of knowing and declaring to the world that we understand where our divine help comes from. How many of you know God will not run from the issues? He will not hide from us. He will not respond even in fear. But our Savior will respond with power and authority as he takes care of his children. Somebody ought to say thank you. That is why it is so important for us to know where our help comes from. Tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, I don't know what you're going through this morning, but I want you to know all of our help, it comes from the Lord. Somebody ought to give the Lord some praise. Situations will come one after another. Situations will have us turning to our wall of unbelief. Situations will have us throwing our hands in the air, asking the Lord, Lord, when is enough enough? But our Savior wants us to relax and realize this morning where our help comes from. Anybody in Canaan knows this morning that your help, it comes from the Lord. If you know it, you ought to give the Lord some praise. Hallelujah. Tell somebody you might have had a rough week. You might have had a rough morning. But you need to know where your help comes from. Come on and bless the Lord in this place. Israel knew where their help came from. In the Song of the Sin, in Psalm 121, Yahweh is described as the one who watches over his people. Although the psalm does not mention a pilgrimage, its language makes it easy to envision a group of travelers on the way to Jerusalem who imagine themselves as a flock of Yahweh as their shepherd. The hills they entrusted can be understood positively to represent God's power and God's strength. Anybody in Canaan knows that the God we serve this morning is a God of power and a God of strength. How many of you know God is able to turn things around? Anybody here know that God is able to be with us in the midst of whatever we are going through? Can I get a witness? How many of you know that God is able to do all things but fail us? Somebody ought to get a Lord some praise. More likely they signify a threatening place where from which the flock can be assaulted. One writer stated when the Psalms speak of mountains, they emphasize Yahweh's superiority over them. Since the ancient Near East, it was common to identify the mountains as the homes of God. The psalmist could also be comparing Yahweh with the gods of other nations. Anybody here know that there is no one like God? 
No one like God. Can I get a witness? Tim Rodgers said, I've searched the world all over, and I've found nobody like God. Do I have a witness that came in this morning? Tell the Lord, thank you. Tell somebody, I've tried everything else, but none of that compares to God. Do I have a witness in here? Come on and give the Lord some praise. The comparison favors the Lord, for he is the maker of heaven and earth, which includes the mountains. Therefore, he can be trusted to look out for the pilgrims. Can we also can trust the Lord as we journey day in and day out? We can trust the Lord as we go through our hurts this morning, as we go through disappointments, as we go through setbacks, as well as difficulties of life. Anybody in Canaan this morning willing to trust in the Lord? Come on and give him glory. Tell the Lord, no matter what it looks like, I'm going to trust the Lord. No matter what it feels like, I'm going to trust the Lord. Can I get a witness? We got to learn how to trust him. I don't know about you, but I'm so glad this morning I know where my help comes from. I don't know about you, but when I'm, I'm so glad I know for myself, when I'm weak this morning, he is my help. When I'm strong, he guess what, he's still my help. When I'm confused, he is still my help. When I'm bailing out, he is still my help. When my back is on the wall, he is my help. Do I have a witness here? When I cannot see my way, he is my help. Praise be to God this morning. I know where my help comes from. Can do you know where your help comes from? Tell somebody, I'm so glad. I know where my help comes from. If you know it, you ought to get a Lord a shout of praise. Come on and bless the Lord. Tell somebody, trials will come. His balls will come. Hurt will come. But you gotta know where your help comes from. Come on and bless the Lord in the place. For a lot of us, we got it confused. We think all of our help comes from ourselves. But how many of you know without God, we can do nothing? Hallelujah. But with God, we can do all things. Somebody ought to bless his name. Secondly, we need to understand our Savior is the watchful shepherd this morning. Tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, I'm so glad he's the watchful shepherd. Do I have a witness? I need somebody here who knows that God watches over his children. Can I get a witness? Tell somebody I know what he's talking about. If God has ever shielded you from anything, you ought to give him glory. If God has ever kept you from hurt, harm, and danger, you ought to give him glory in this place. If God has ever kept you, you ought to give him praise. How many of you know he's ever alert this morning? Amen. Tell you that he's not sleeping like we are. Amen. Tell the Lord thank you. Can I stay there for a moment? While we're sleeping at night, how many of you know God is always at work? Come on and give him glory. People lead us in a way that keeps us from stumbling. Do I have a witness in here? Somebody ought to give him glory. Tell somebody. I've tried you, and I know for myself, he'll keep you from stumbling this morning. Do I have a witness? The Bible declares he neither sleeps nor slumbers. Hallelujah. And church, because he neither sleeps nor slumbers, he is able to help us early in the morning, early in the middle of the day, in the middle of the evening. How many of you know God is always on the job? Therefore, any time we call on him, He's able to come to our rescue. Can I get a witness? He's always present, always alert. 
and always on the case, working it out for our good. Do I have a witness in here this morning? Come on and clap your name. Tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, people working it out for your good. Can I get a witness? All of our health care, it comes from the Lord. Therefore, we can call on him day in and day out. We don't have to worry about disturbing him because he's always up and always trying to figure out how to take care of his children. Can I get a witness? Tell the Lord thank you. Somebody here this morning, you need to know that God never slumbers and that God watches over his children. Hallelujah. Do I have a witness in here this morning? He's always alert. Tell your neighbor the neighbor. He's always alert. Do I have a witness? How many of you know when you get ready to go off the road, he's right there. Can I get a witness? When the doctor's getting ready to give you that shot, how many of you know he's right there? How many of you know when it doesn't look so good, he's alert. And God says, I got you, my son. I got you, my daughter. Do I have a witness in here this morning? He's not like us. You know what old we get? We seem to take nap after nap. Anybody knows what I'm talking about? But tell your neighbor, say, God is not like that. God is always alert. Can I get a witness? Songwriter said, Sister Mary, when I call on him, he'll come to my rescue. How do I know that? Because I tried him. And he's alright. I tried him. And I learned that he can take care of me. But not only take care of me, but he'll dispatch his angels to take care of all of us. He takes care of his children. Finally, the Lord will keep you, keep all of us from harm. Amen. Tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, the Lord will keep us from all harm. How many know the enemies out there trying to set up traps? Amen. But the God we serve, he will watch over our lives. Do I have a witness? Tell the Lord, thank you. The Lord will watch over our coming and our going. Who wouldn't serve a God like this? Aren't you grateful that God looks out for our going and our coming? If you're grateful, you ought to give him praise. Hallelujah. Some of you act like God hasn't done anything for you. But I just want you to take a moment and say, Lord, I thank you for your covering me. Thank you for covering me when I was going out and when I was coming in. Can I get a witness? Somebody ought to give me praise. How did you know? He didn't have to do it. He protects us. Do I have a witness? Come the Lord, thank you. It doesn't take but a second for our eyes to go shut. But I'm so glad the God I serve, He's able. Can I get a witness? Tell the Lord, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. It doesn't take but a second. But I'm so glad that God has his hands on God's children. Hallelujah, whether we're going out or whether we're coming in, that's the kind of God we serve. He takes care of his children. Hallelujah, somebody ought to bless his name. It's confident to know that whether we're coming or going, the maker of heaven and earth, he watches over us continually, now and forever. For he is a faithful shepherd. Amen? And God will be faithful through it all. Choir reminded us this morning, faithful is our God. And hallelujah, that close this morning. He who watches over Israel, he watches over us. He is faithful this morning. He is an awesome God who takes care of his children. 
That's why I trust him with my life. That's why I trust him with my difficulties. I trust him with my setbacks. I trust him with whatever's going on in my life. Can I get a witness? And because of this, that's why I tell the world all of my help this morning. It comes from God. It does not come from Jeffrey because I am limited. But when I tap in, when I tap in, when I tap in, to the true soul. How many of you know they have come to power? Hallelujah. Somebody ought to know what I'm talking about. Thank you, Jesus. All of my help. It comes from the Lord. Anybody get tired this morning? Don't you know God is able to restore you today? Do I have a way to sit here this morning? Hallelujah. Those that ain't a stand to your feet. Hallelujah. Now tell somebody all of my help. All my it comes all from the Lord. Lord. Now I don't know what you're going through. Now I don't know what you're going through. But I want you to know all your help. It comes from the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. Don't be ashamed, the neighbor, all of us, it comes from the Lord. Now do this for me if you will. I want you to be like the leper, the one who returned, and say thank you, Lord. So Lord, I thank you for my strength. So Lord, I thank you for my journey. And I thank you, God, for giving me the strength. To make it. If you're grateful, come on and give the Lord some praise. Hallelujah. Oh, I feel like praising in this morning. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I don't know about you, but every now and then we get a little weak. Every now and then you wonder how we're going to make it all. But I'm so glad. That even in our weakest moments, the Savior reminds us, I got you, my daughter. I got you, my son. But you gotta know where your help comes from. Whenever we need him, he's already there. So we gotta learn how to call on him. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. As I close this morning, I remember some years ago, I was traveling down 61, and I wasn't paying attention to what I was doing. And as I was traveling, traveling down by Maple King, I looked up, and I was off the road, and I was headed inside of the church in my vehicle. But I thank God, God snatched the wheel of the car back on the highway. But not only did that, God gave me protection. And God said, I got you, my son. Why am I telling you this? I could have been born years ago. But guess what? I'm standing because of grace, because of mercy. And that's why I know all of my help, it comes from the Lord. Because I could have been dead wrong. I could have been in a hospital. But God said no. Not yet. And because of that, I'm more conscientious of how I travel. And I thank God for another opportunity. Why? Because I know my strength was limited. Hallelujah. But I had a God who came in 
and overpower. And we come back and I'm standing. You're there. Grab a way to Thank you. 